Hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural. So today I'm doing a video that I don't normally do this kind of videos, but 2024 is going to be the year where, you know what, I'm just going to speak my mind. I'm coming to you with a face that has no makeup on. I'm coming with you with no earrings, no jewelry, no necklace, and my head covered. And this is how some people feel we should come. Yes. Now, can we just say something? Can we just say, let 2024 be the year where we normalize or normalize or normalize or whatever? That saying, mind your own business. Yes. Let 2024 be the year where we as women, we are not there to criticize other women and to bash them down and bring them down, regardless of how we feel about their own appearance, not our appearance, their own appearance. Let 2024 be the year where we judge ourselves only and not judge others. Because guess what? We don't know what is going on in those people's life. So I came across this post. Actually, this post was posted by one of my followers on my uh, Facebook page, Discovering Natural Group. And um, shout out, girl. Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out, she, shout out to you. So she posted this and I just had to put it. So I'm going to put the picture of the lady who put this there. So this lady, her name is Taiwo Ajayi Lusset. Hopefully I'm saying it right. That's her name. She's a Nigerian veteran, Nigerian actress. So auntie, I'm sure she's older than me. Auntie Ejo, please, I am going to let you trend. Because I feel like sometimes this person just wants to trend. Some people just want to trend. So I'm going to tell you what she said. So, veterans Nigeria act actress Taiwo Ajayil said, hopefully I'm saying her name right, has said that African women who wear wigs to argue, um, to augment their beauty have low self-esteem. Now, let me stop. Let me stop right there. I wear wigs on and off. This year, I've only worn wig one time and that was today and that was because I had to shoot a video today that I had to go out today on my TikTok um, and I had to shoot it. I just even shot, shot it right now. I had to shoot it and my hair is currently being pre-pulled and there was no way. The client has been waiting and I had to shoot it. So there's no way I could have come out with my hair like this. So I did slap on a wig, ma'am. Okay, so the broadcaster, I'm reading this from what for Lake Akin Radewo Akin Bote. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. <laughs> said on my Facebook group, Discovery Natural Group, she said the broadcaster and national honors award holder, that's the lady, made the remark in an interview with Vanguard at a function in Lagos. She opined. Uh, uh, she opined that i don't know what that means that god has blessed african women with the best kind of hair of all races and wonders why african women would rather go for human hair rather than rocking their own natural hair she says we have been blessed with the best kind of hair that can transform into any kind of looks we desire we have to love ourselves as Africans and appreciate our God-given beauty. Our Africanness is what stands out, stands us out among all races of the world. So this lady said, this woman said, the African woman is beautiful in all ramifications. I believe women who go for wigs and human hair have low self-esteem. Okay, she's including me too, because I sometimes I go for a wig, yes. And I don't have low self-esteem. I don't have low self-esteem. Their desire is to be westernized. Western and foreign is a sign of low self-esteem. She also emphasized the importance and role of women in society. And so she adds, if you want your life to be in order... 
and successful. Be kind to the woman in your life. Now, how hypocritical, I don't know, how hypocritical or whatever. She says, if you want your life to be in order and successful, be kind to the women in your life. It is when the women in your life are happy that you are truly be happy, that you can truly be happy. By women, she means your mother, your wife, your sister, and as the case may be, so she adds. So the lady in question, I'm gonna put her picture right here. She says that we people that wear wigs, I wear wigs on occasion. I, I see nothing wrong as long as I'm taking care of my natural hair once in a while. I wear wigs to give my hair a break. Yes, sometimes I wear wigs. If I'm in a hurry and I need to get this done and my hair is being pre pulled Yeah, like this. I wear wigs. Also, you know, I wear wigs sometimes if I just want to look a little bit different. I don't, I should not be judged because I wear wigs. There's nothing. Now, if you're someone that you wear wigs and you're using it as a cover up, for not wanting to wear your natural hair, not caring about your natural hair, I understand. Do you realize that there are people that wear wigs because they have scalp issues, they have issues with their own hair? And this is the only thing that kind of helps them be comfortable for a moment of time. So she writes here that be kind to women so you will be successful and blah, blah, blah. She's not being kind because she's putting some women down. This is the year where we stay on our own lane. If some people want to wear wigs, let them wear wigs. I will not judge them. I am a hair coach. Yes, I'm a natural hair, hair coach. I advocate for natural hair. But if somebody comes to me and they're like, oh, I have issues with my natural hair. And I say, okay, fine. They say, oh, yeah, on occasions I wear wig. And then I talk to them. I say, okay, yeah, you wear wigs. Does that interrupt your natural hair? Does that affect your edges? Does that do this? Does that do that? And they're like, no, I will not bash them. This lady in question that is even talking, she wears makeup. I wear makeup. Now she shouldn't be wearing makeup because guess what? Makeup sometimes is making us look westernized with the lashes and all that stuff. Yeah. So you have to realize that it is not that we are saying or that we are saying that, oh, yeah, you have to keep on wearing your natural hair. Your natural hair is bad. If you are wearing wigs, and something that you don't even like your natural hair, that is a problem. You have to find out why don't you like a natural hair. Now, just because somebody doesn't wear their natural hair out all the time, just because somebody wears wigs once in a while, doesn't mean that they have low self-esteem. And that is what I have a problem with. Why are you saying that women, just because women wear wigs, they have low self-esteem? So if I put on a wig now, I have low self-esteem. Please. Do you know some people that have even, they have cancer, they cannot even, they don't even have hair. They don't have hair, they, they just want to look beautiful. So for them to just want to wear, look beautiful and they put on a wig, that means that they have now become bad people. And you now come on in the last statement. This kind of, I mean, I'm sure you guys haven't seen me this upset before. But you now come on in the last statement and say, if you want your life to be in order and successful, be kind to the women in your life. Are you being kind, madam? Madam, are you being kind to women in your life by saying that? Please, let us learn to stay in our own lane, no? Let us learn to stay in our, in our own lane because it's not right. It's not right to put down our own fellow women just because they are not in the same bracket or same bucket that we want to put them. We now put them in the, in the, basket, in the basket of, oh, because you wear wigs. Because what about you? If you say you wear makeup and somebody says, oh, because you wear makeup, that's why you have low self-esteem. There are different kind of beauty. There are different kind of reasons why people wear what they choose to wear. 2024. Please, people, mind your business and stay in your own lane. I've said it. Yes, I am a lover of natural hair. I wish everybody could rock their natural hair and not put relaxers and stuff. But if somebody comes to me and start putting relax, or I start saying, oh, I'm relaxed or whatever, I'll tell them that, sorry, I do not know how to undo relaxed hair. I cannot give you advice because I don't want your hair to spoil. If you come to me and say, oh, you have natural hair, you are thinking of going to relaxer, I will ask you, why are you thinking of going to relaxer? And I'll say, oh, do you um, need help? Maybe it's just a little tweaking in your routine that will say, oh, now I know how to manage my hair better. That's how you advise people. That's how you show kindness to people. Not this one that said, because somebody wears wig, they have low self-esteem. Do you know how many very, very important women, very highly esteemed women 
that they wear wigs and what we learn from them we learn from them i don't want to start mentioning names but we learn from them okay i have natural let me just bring it back to home i have natural hair my mom has relaxed hair she's an awesome woman i don't put her down because of that never you think that everybody in my life that's associated with me should have natural hair just because I'm natural. No. Everybody has their own path in life. My best friend has relaxed hair. Relaxed her hair. Does that make me put that? No. She's a wonderful woman in her own way. Some of my friends, they wear wigs constantly. They have wonderful mothers, sisters, aunties, and people of their own. Don't let us start putting people down. So please. Madam Taiwo, please, I beg you, rephrase your word. And whenever you put words like that, don't come here with makeup and lashes. Please. Anyway, I'm going to go wash my natural hair.